Damon Martin, MMAWeekly.com here with Jason McDonald. Jason, it's been kind of a crazy week for you already. Have there been any questions that haven't been asked that I can ask you? <laughs> well, no, there's been a lot of questions, a lot of interviews, so I don't know if you ask me what the weather's going to be tomorrow, I might not have an answer for you. <laughs> Uh, you've been in Canada and a mainstay of Canadian MMA for a long time. Is it pretty crazy to see this event, 55,000 people? I mean, I know you're more of a West Coast Canada guy, but is it crazy to see what's been going on here this week? Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, to, to, to think that there's going to be a, you know, a giant fan expo and, and 55,000 people in Rogers Center, it's, it's really something else. You know, it's really hard to wrap your head around what, what that's going to look like, a, an octagon set up inside a baseball stadium like really who knows who knows what it's going to look like on Saturday night <laughs> um, you know coming back from the injury you know you mentioned working your way back to the UFC I'm sure it was disappointed to have that last fight go the way it did but are you a guy that you know in the back of your head it's always about coming back to the UFC it's always about being in this organization well for me you know it was, it was about it was always about getting to the UFC you know and, and making it there and I, I didn't just want to come for one fight and be a one-hit wonder, you know, and, and, and fortunately for me it's worked out that way. I've been here for, you know, four years, over four years, almost five years, I think, and uh, this will be my 13th fight, so, uh, you know, I've been here and it's been a good run for me, and, and you know, uh, it's definitely, this is where you want to be, I think, as, as an athlete, you're always, you don't strive to be in the minor leagues, right? You're just striving to be the best you can be, and and be at the top of your game, and, and, and the UFC is where it's at. Um, somebody else was telling me, you know, making it to the UFC is a big deal, but being a top guy in the UFC is a whole other level. You've, you've been there before. You got close, obviously, to the title. Do you feel like you, you know, still want to push and make that run? I mean, I know right now is not maybe the time, but, you know, your career, I, I, you've been there before. Do you feel like you can go there again? Well, you know, that's a tough, tough question. I'm realistic about where I'm at in my career right now. I'm taking things one fight at a time, coming back from an injury, 30, 35 years old, going on 36 next month. I, I'm realistic about where I, you know, I'm not in the title picture, you know. I go out there on Saturday night and, and, and beat Ryan Jensen, I'm still not a, a title contender. And, you know, basically right now I'm, I'm taking a one fight at a time, you know. I, I'm preparing for one fight, not looking past that and, 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 and you know, taking it as it comes. Is that a different atmosphere and a different mindset maybe than you've had earlier in your career? Well, I absolutely. I think when you're younger and you're, you're looking forward and you're, you're, uh, you want to be the best you can be and obviously you start winning fights and gaining momentum and you, you start thinking about that. And, and obviously, I win on Saturday night and, and, and you know, the, the great thing about mixed martial arts is that you, you're only as good as your last fight and, you know, you can lose a fight and then piece together two or three solid wins and all of a sudden you're back in the picture. So, uh, you know, who knows what the future holds, but uh, right now I'm just taking it one fight at a time. Let me ask you about Ryan Jensen, because Ryan's a guy who has come out really strong early in his fights, and the ones he's lost, it's not like he was getting destroyed the whole time. He just got caught or, you know, had a bad moment or ran out of cardio, whatever it is. How tough is it to face a guy like that who maybe has the same motivation you do going into this one? Well, I mean, he, I think the good thing is you know what he brings to the table. You, you hit the nail on the head. He's uh, This guy's a handful in the first round. He's going to come out aggressive, and I think that's what's going to make it a great fight is I'm the same kind of guy. I come out aggressive and, and moving forward, and we're both going to be doing the same thing. And it, I think it really boils down to uh, you know, who makes the first mistake. And, you know, the one thing I am pretty confident is, you said it, is if the fight goes out of the first round, I think the odds turn into my favor, you know, and uh, so uh, I'd be looking, obviously, to stay out of trouble and in the first round, looking to finish him off, but if, if I'm not able to in the first round, I'll definitely uh, be jumping on him in the second. Thanks very much, Jason. You bet.